They came from London, San Francisco, and every corner of the universe just to love one another. But some came... Peace, dude. ...to blow stuff up. Put this in your bong and smoke it. Destroy all humans, too. Um... Make war, not love. Ah, Albion, where the sun never sets and the natives never floss. Come and see me when you have a moment. I have a job for you. Those documents you recovered in Bay City were most informative. It seems the Soviet spy master, Agent Orinchov, is at large somewhere in this very city. Well, he ain't here for the weather, that's for damn sure. So, those documents say where I might find our little buddy Orinchov? According to the documents, he's established a secret base somewhere underground. Yeah, I bet he's big into underground movements. <laughs> oh, you're good. That was very good. Have you ever thought about doing stand-up? Pay attention! Secret base underground. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. Just scan the city while we were flying in. Yes, but it's useless. This city is riddled with tunnels, pipes, and excavations galore. It's like a damp, moldy sponge built atop a noxious Swiss cheese. Vivid. So what do we do? I suppose you'll have to swallow your pride and ask one of the natives. Aw, oh, not again. I hate reading human minds. They're so simplistic, like reading a pop-up book. Okay. Locate the tunnels, infiltrate them, and find Agent Orinchov. Then squeeze. Hard. Indeed. Happy spelunking! Speaking with foreign accents. Say, an haunting aroma of beets. What the hell is going on in that vacant lot over by Hyde Park? If that's fixing a gas main, I'm Alfie Elkins. Years of this, and I'll have enough for that operation in Sweden. I'm 
that East Hyde Park tunnel filled in, the better. Roads, ruffians, scallywags, the place is a magnet for undesirables of every kind. I demand vengeance! Those youths keep tapping out the sacred herb pipes upon my holy, if indestructible, image. Appease my righteous fury by destroying several of their number. This shall serve as a lesson to all their miserable lot. Thou mayest now summon thy sky chariot from this location. My mind says Ray. But my body says, dive! Crypto! I've detected an excavation site bustling with human activity! Perhaps they've discovered the ossified remains of their slack-jawed simian forebears! Check it out. Subterranean lair, all right. Get in there and start spelunking. Attention! Possible intruder at Green 20. Defense contingency plan D is now in effect. Also, owner of Grey Zorky license plate 1LV SDLN, your lights are on. I've spotted a weapon data core near your position. I'll slap it up on your radar. At last, the infamous Agent Orinchov. Look, Ivan, I'm kinda in a hurry, and between you and me, I'd just as soon save the ammo. So what do you say we skip the Kalinka dance and you tell me what I wanna know?
okay. Not what I was expecting. But if you think turning yourself into some kind of mutant freak is gonna stop me beating the answers out of you, you got another thing coming. Attention all agents! Intruder alert! Proceed to command center where Comrade Agent Ancho will defeat the intruder in demonstration of Soviet moral superiority. Chicken Kiev. What the hell was in those cans? Revelade can't do that. Well done, Mr. President. Well done indeed. Do I know you, teabag? No, sir, but I know you. Forgive me, it seemed best simply to stand clear and give you room to do what you do so well. These Soviets are rather slippery fish. Yes, very slippery indeed, but they do crack. If you'll follow me, Mr. President, I can promise you answers in abundance, shall we?
But soft, I One must like from yonder ray gun breaks. I wonder if we might have a little chat now, Mr. President. Yeah, sure. What the... Hey, wait a second, Mr. President. I ain't in my presidential disguise. How do you know who I am? They don't call it British intelligence for nothing, old boy. Okay, you got my attention. Who the hell are you? Reginald Ponsonby Smythe, at your service. And Her Majesty's, although in her case, the service is secret. I'm with M16, the Foreign Intelligence Agency. What's with the suit? Somebody die? In this line of work, somebody always does. Besides, just because I'm a civil servant doesn't mean I have to dress like one, eh? Aren't you a little overdressed? As Oscar Wilde once said, one should either be a work of art or wear a work of art. And this suit is exquisite, don't you think? If you say so, I'm uh, more the wash-and-wear mylar type. Okay, so I I'm starting to get a little ticked off here. Th these bastards blow up my mothership, kill my boss, screw up my pension plan, and just when I track one of them down, he turns into some kind of super-powered freakazoid mozzarella monster. I sympathize. To be frank, sir, we appear to be fighting a common enemy. Might it not be the better part of Valor to join forces and pool our information? Hmm. Ah, I seem to be late for a previous engagement. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Cryptosporidium. Do feel free to drop by at your leisure. I think you'll find we have some mutual interests. But... Excellent, excellent. I'll expect you for lunch then. Splendid. Must dash. Who up this Ponsonby is? He seems awfully convenient. Contrived, even. Gonna hurt you a lot more than this gonna hurt me. Keep an eye on him, Crypto, and use him for all he's worth. Give me something to do, will ya? Tired of bird watching already, are ya? At the moment, our most pressing need is to persuade the young humans to stop taking Revelade. What? I thought we destroyed all supplies of Revelade. Well, we did, but this seems to be a supply and demand problem. We've cut the supply side of the equation, you see, but we haven't yet dealt with the demand. I was told there'd be no math. It's quite simple. If the humans want that foul stuff badly enough, they'll find a way to get or make more. The main aim of this operation is to future-proof the substance-happy population here. The last thing we need is more Revelade addicts. 
Hey, hey, wait a second. This is one of those disguise missions, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, not quite. I just uh, need you to uh, dress up and blend in. <clears throat> For crying out loud, Pox, the name of the game is destroy all humans, not play some stupid record and keep the kids off drugs. Do you think perhaps you might be able to focus on this briefing for, oh, the next 30 seconds? Concentrate! Get them high on life, huh? Sounds good. How do we do it? I have been pondering how best to manipulate the adolescent humans' burgeoning counterculture to our advantage. Fashion, to abstract. Books and magazines? Hefner's already covered that side of the street. Then it hit me. Radio! This pirate radio fad correlates with similar phenomena. Such as teen rebellion and folk music guitarists. According to my calculations, this is the perfect way to reach out to the kids. If you say so. So how do I use pirate radio? Simply slip into the pirate radio station and broadcast this LP I've prepared. If my assumptions are correct, it will incite them to spontaneously create a happening. It's quite convincing. I even use their lingo. LP. Huh? Sounds groovy. Okay, Daddy-O, I'll spin your platter. Where's the pirate radio station? I'm afraid you'll have to locate it yourself. The signal is bouncing off all these metal structures. I can't triangulate it accurately. You might try mind scanning the local inhabitants. Right on. Leave it to me, Poxy. Persuasion's my specialty. Don't I know it. Good luck, Crypto. And remember, I'm counting on you. God, I need another diet pill prescription. Perhaps I should start a petition to censor that Jagger boy's lips. They are positively sinful. That pirate DJ is so fab. I wonder where in so well he's broadcasting from today. Police haven't nicked the pirate DJ yet. Not many hiding places in Soho. I've been hiding from me mum for three years and she always finds me. There's the DJ. Get over there and take over his phonograph. <laughs> Attention, garish freaks, this is your Pirate King speaking. I command you to listen to me. Yes, you dull hard mods, breeding heads and oily rockers, your benevolent ah. master's order you to party. It's our radio first month anniversary, and we celebrate three sorts of music. Thanks, Mac, I'm giving you a big time. Come dressed as your favorite intergalactic travelers, come as you are. Go naked, compliance is mandatory, and disobedience means death. Yeah. I'm <laughs> ah, just kidding. Some people say I've got all the charms of communist dictator. I like to think I'm more of a fashion nut to it, though. Right, let's see the move with uh, the green ball. Attention, Dread Pirate DJ. We have you surrounded. Cease broadcasting, Ted. Oh, bugger it. First squad, go. <laughs> Oh, but it's really 
Infernal combustion engines with their pistons thrusting and carcinogens belching. Oh, for some peace and quiet. Destroy a few as a warning to others of their kind. Copper. What's he look like? I'm here to rap with you about the error of your ways. What are you, the fashion police? Leg it, everyone! <laughs> this is a raid. You will all disperse now or face the full penalty of the law. Where's your warrant then? Right, sod off. Uh, perhaps I have the wrong address. Did, did anyone here order a singing telegram? 
No, we bloody well didn't. Now clear off. Crypto! What are you doing? You're supposed to be convincing them, not terrorizing them. Although that is good fun. Please up on the brown. Please up. and sisters. I, I gotta tell you, the doors of my consciousness have been flung wide open. I mean, it's all happening, you know? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, suddenly I, I'm wondering, what are we here for? That's easy, we're here to change the world, man. Well, yeah, obviously, but how? How do we change the world? Well, um, you know, by dressing and acting different like. And, you know, breaking social mores and stuff. Look at yourself. Strung out, smelly, dressed like you fell through a homeless shelter window. Oi! Speak for yourself. My clothes make a statement about who I am in society. But at what price, man? How can you say your minds are free when you're still slaves to Revelade? But Revelade has liberated our souls. Besides, we can quit any time we want to. What it's done is rot your brain stems. Your benevolent alien overlords command you. Rejoice and obey. Bloody hell, mate. You're higher than I am. I'll have whatever you're on. Liberated your souls? Jeez, where do I start? Look, first off, you don't have a... Uh, no, no, you're not ready for that one. Look. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. It, it's an illusion, big, a uh, bourgeois construct. Don't you get it? The only way to be free is to stop wanting to. Discipline is freedom. Whoa! Forget the clothes and the hair. They're just trappings. They're not the real you. The real you transcends fashion. What are you saying? I, I, I suppose we should all get crew cuts to go to work for the man, then. Is that it? No. Rebel against the man in your minds. Take the system apart from inside. You dig? Change your clothes, your hair, your faces. Infiltrate the square system. Outperform him, outearn him, and overthrow his status quo. And make tons of cash in the bargain. Wow! Fight consumerism with more consumerism. I think you're on to something. Revelate is a nowhere scene. I'm off to apply for a job at the stock exchange. Who's with me? All right, very So this were a game of soldiers. Right, I'm taking you down. Come back here, you miscreant. <laughs> Oh, 
What's shaking, Ponzi? This ain't just a social call, is it? I'm afraid not. I'm relieved to see you, sir. The Soviets appear to be up to some mischief. What kind of mischief are we talking about? Because uh, if she says she's 18, you can't just call her a liar. No, no. The Soviet ambassador is throwing a party for the opening of an exhibit of Russian modern art. Frankly, it's making me a bit nervous. A number of Albion's VIPs are in attendance. You know, I'm starting to worry about you, Ponzi. You're getting a twitch. What exactly is it you're scared's gonna happen? I don't know. That's what's worrying me. Mainly, I'm worried about all those VIPs. MPs, captains of industry, all gathered in one place. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Thank God I managed to dissuade Her Majesty from attending. That could have been a real cluster of, um... Ouch. My virgin ear. So, what, you want me to get over there, rough the ambassador up a little? Dear Lord, no. I just need you to mingle with the crowd and check it out, incognito as it were. Okay, I'll get a disguise. Wouldn't want my pretty mug to ruin anybody's appetite. Okie dokie, Smokey. I'll go grab a disguise and mingle with the in crowd. Excellent. I'll stay in radio contact in case you need me. humans all you want, spaceman, but you're only treating the symptoms. You want to get the disease, you have to shoot the spores. Let's throw ya! Good heavens! Hurry, Cryptosporidium! Kill them all! None must escape! Cupcake. Always nice to meet a chick who can handle her guns. You got a name? The name is Natalia. I'm here to help you, spaceman. Or do you prefer Mr. President? Mr. What the? Does everybody on this dismal freaking island know who I am? Da, pretty much. At least everyone in my line of work. Oh. So you work for Ponzenby? Yet. Although after this little incident, I may have to ask him for a job. I work for the Komatet Gosu Darstvenoi Bezupeznosti. Why, you make pasta? I'm a secret agent with the KGB. Hmm. What the hell do you think was in those statues? 
hard to say. It's listed in official documents as Go Schneev Kro. Sounds tasty. Mmm. It loosely translates as either an incredibly lethal biological weapon or a quasi-legal performance enhancer for the Soviet Olympic team, depending on the context. So, what is it? Some kind of mutagen? Cause I don't know what mutants are supposed to look like, but... Actually, no. It's a spore. It infects a host through inhalation or skin contact. But, after a brief incubation period, it seems to set about genetically rebuilding the victim into something... not human. Why the hell would you turn your back on your own species to hook up with an alien invader from outer space? First, we are not hooking up. And second, why would I trust a Furon over a KGB apparatchik? Because everything's gone bizumye. The bullet bureau spitting out orders that don't make any sense. My colleagues transforming into irradiated monsters. All hell is breaking loose. Something's happening. Something very, very wrong. And I think I'm the only person on Earth who knows it. But not anymore, eh, Tovarish? Hmm. Hard to say. Sounds tasty. Hmm. Or... You think somebody engineered it for the purpose? You have a better explanation? I'm just trying to put all the pieces together. At first, I thought it was being made here, but now I am not so sure. Bojo Moy! The schedule's been moved up. They're about to shower these abominable spores all over the city. You take the Hyde Park infestation, I'll handle the ones in Soho. And spaceman, good hunting. She's right. You must hurry to Hyde Park and kill all infected humans at once. We mustn't allow this parasite to spread. My men have marked locations for four similar statues in Hyde Park. These should be your first port of call. Look sharp. Those small thingies have broken loose. Good. In the name of Elizabeth the Second, call Oh, <laughs> 
There's a group of infectees moving towards the south gate. Hurry and eliminate them. Hiya, hot stuff. Sorry to keep you waiting. So what's the buzz, baby? Tell me what's a happening. I'm so glad you asked, baby. I have to meet my contact, Agent Sergei. He says he's got vital information for me. Unfortunately, he fears they may be on to him, so he and I can't be seen together. And I should care because... I'm not exactly KGB Employee of the Month, Crypto. They may well have a hit squad out looking for me. Before I make contact with Sergei, anyone on my tail must be shaken or eliminated. Oh, I'll stick to your tail, all right. I figured. Although you do stand out in a crowd, that's what gets the disguise. This inside man of yours, what's he found that's worth risking his life to get to you? Sergei feels as I do, that someone or something has perverted the KGB and even the Soviet government. 
And people who ask why have had a troubling tendency to disappear. Hmm, Soviet dissidents disappearing. You're right, that is weird. Look, can you really trust this guy, Sergei? I mean, how do we know he's not playing both sides? I trust him implicitly. Sergei and I, we have a history. Uh-oh. So let's say I help you out. What's in it for me? Aside from your bewitching company, of course. A piece of your mothership. Sergei has agreed to procure it for you. In exchange for your help in this matter. How does that sound? Like a gas. Although I would have done it for your company. Short! We've been spotted! Get ready, Crypto! Do you know who my husband is? He's... This is completely... End of line. He's the... I have places to be. I know where you are. You can't trust national security to labor. Put me down! Look sharp! KGB agents, dead ahead! All the fun! Wonderful. Now Ponsonby's men are here too.
We're nearly there. You're such a gentleman, Crypto. Walking me to my car? Your car? Oh, wait a minute. Well, what about your pal Sergei? You said he was meeting us here. Oh, no. Sergei's in Canal Side. I just needed to be certain we'd shaken off any KGB tails. But the coast looks clear. This would be an excellent time to call your saucer. My saucer? You didn't say anything about my saucer. What do you need that for? Because you won't be able to keep up with me on foot once I start driving, silly. Besides, the KGB will surely bring out their heavy artillery soon. So you may want to even the odds with a little air support. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I get it. You just want me for my saucer. And your bewitching company. Okay, okay, I'll get the saucer. Just give me a second to get it here. Thank you, Tovarish. I'll wait for you to take off. Let's go!
So that's her contact. Smarmy looking bastard. Damn it, Crypto Focus. She's just a chick, a human chick. You barely know her. A hideous, repulsive human chick who smells really good. No, no, Focus, damn it. I found what I was after. Just thought I'd say goodbye. I might not see you for a while. What about what I was after? It's been arranged. A piece of your spaceship has been hidden nearby. Here are the coordinates. Good hunting, spaceman. And try not to get yourself killed. At least, not too often. Mmm, yowza. Is there some sort of... I've spotted a weapon datacorn near your position. I'll slap it up on your radar.
Morning, Ponsonby. You rang? Hmm? Make it quick, Ponzi. I got a date with one of them go-go chicks in the cages, so oh, lordy lordy. I appreciate your coming on such short notice, sir. This is of the greatest importance. Oh, well, look, I'm sure you got doctors over here who can take care of it, right? Probably won't even keep her overnight. Uh, who's the chica? You don't mind my asking. <clears throat> no, it's, it's, it's nothing so personal. I don't want to be overheard. We'd best whisper. What was... so, so sleepy? You, I'll, uh, uh. <laughs> Lower life forms, when will they ever learn? Ah, uh, my head feels like Tiny Tim just whacked me with a ukulele. What happened? I trust you're comfortably tipsy. How do you feel? What the hell is going on around here? Who the hell are you people? Right, let's try four cc's of Demerol. Switch circuits to level three and prepare the encephalogram. Now, I want you to tell me all the good things you remember about your mother. You mean my first body's biological mother, or, or that cloning tube back in the saucer? Because between you and me, the tube was warmer. Subject is lucid and capable of comparative analysis. Good. The Buffins have been examining your weapon's power sources, Cryptosporidium. We're all quite curious as to how the stored MU phase pulse is channeled in the first place. Ah, keep it up, Ponsonby. That barrier can't stand up against my uh, psychokinesis forever. And when it goes, oh, pow, to the moon, Ponzi! Clearly deranged. Phenobarbital will put an end to that mischief. We know you have it. Tell us where it is. Tell us! Or it's the Ludovico treatment for you. Eyelids peeled back. Excruciating torture. Endless hours of Ludwig van. Ludovico treatment, huh? Maybe you didn't notice, you dumb plagiarist, but I don't have eyelids. Hey, Ponzi, Burgess and Kubrick are on the phone. They want their plot device back. Hmm, it's becoming litigious. I think we best continue in the morning. Attention! Attention! Security breach in access facility. Code Crowbarty, Dogger, and Finister are in force. Repeat. <coughs> what was... what was all that about? 
Oh, my freaking head. This gas is noxious. Smells like Pox's underwear. Don't ask me how I know that. Hey, hey, what the? Ah, oh, damn dirty apes! Where the hell am I? You're in the Abscess Mental Reconditioning Facility, under the streets of Albion. Looks like I got here just in time. Now come on, spaceman. Move your ass! I don't get it. Why are you helping me? Because I know now. You're the only one I can trust. Anyway, who else is going to rescue you? <laughs> Meet me in the park! It seems that treacherous humans damage some of your equipment! No, no I'm not referring to your new damage. package! Uh. Toyed with you long enough. Man, I have never been so glad to see you. Actually, I've never been glad to see you, but I am now. Serves you right for trusting a human. What in the musky name of our food will happen down there? Oh, wow. You should have seen it. Ponsonby drugged me, and then he tried to brainwash me, but that Natalia Chica saved my bacon. So, 
Ponsonby's playing for both teams. I should have known. Why didn't you just vaporize him? Oh, well, uh, I got bored, so I figured I'd take his goons on with my mental powers. Little change of pace, you know? Absurd. And totally out of character. Your guns were jammed and you had no choice. Now let me fix this. I expected I'd find you here. You're quite sporting, Crypto, and I do admire your spirit. But at some point, one simply has to face the fact that the other man's won. Of course, you couldn't know who you're up against, M16, or perhaps I should say, Majestic Command, 16th Sector. By the way, I have you surrounded. Take off now, and my surface-to-air launchers will destroy you and your precious saucer. The only way you'll leave here alive is in my custody. Come now, there's no need for any unpleasantness. It's undignified. It's beneath us. You've lost fair and square. Now be a man and show a little sportsmanship. There's a good fellow. Well, I never! He couldn't be more blatant to be tried. Kill him! You finally did it. M16 was all there was left. The last of the majestic agencies. All the others. The French. The Mongolian station. The Argentinians. Every one of them. Destroyed by... <coughs> aliens. That last round must have scrambled your synapses. I only took down the American Majestic. Silhouette's Majestic. You? <laughs> you cosmic egomaniac. You think this is all about you? <laughs> oh, the irony. Beaten by a solipsistic simpleton from space. <laughs> You actually believe you're the only... <coughs> the only... what? Leave it alone, Crypto. The man was in the throes of a violent demise and clearly not in his right mind. Now, you've had your fun. Can we please just go? Remind me again why we couldn't meet someplace classier. Like, I don't know, a, a meat packing plant. Hey, Cupcake, my face is leaving in 15 minutes. You wanna be. Finish that line, and I blow your cooey off. Touchy. What shaking, sexy? I'm worried, Tovarish. My sources are running dry. 
I can't risk further suspicion being cast on old friends. The time has come for action. Action? Well, it's about freaking time. What you got in mind? Burglary. I'm going to break into the Soviet Embassy. Little the old B&E, huh? Now you're talking my lingo. What's the snatch? All top secret information is in a heavily defended part of the compound. The cryptography room. Right on! That's practically my middle name. Well, my only name. So I noticed. I'm sure we'll find all the answers we need in there. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Crypto, but they seem to know all my old tricks. The North Lawn has been mined. The old gate has been sealed up. They've even placed closed-circuit cameras on the only other wall. Cameras are no problem. I'm the president. I've learned how to deal with paparazzi. Crypto smash, you know what I'm saying? You're sure? Because once you start smashing, it won't be long before the KGB shows up to investigate. Trust me, efficient destruction is one of my four days. I don't doubt it. Good luck, Tavarish. Ivanova, think! They're 
must be another way. Crystal, I have an idea. Shut down the embassy's power system. Or even better, destroy them completely. That ought to unlock every door in the place. Power hour of 75% in the lobby. find anything juicy? Project Solaris is accelerating. Coded traffic to the KGB station in Takushima tripled in the last month. I also managed to get my hands on some cargo manifests. Well, that ought to clear things up a little. So you'd think. But what sort of operation uses seven tons of fissile uranium, 340 liters of human blood, and 92 cases of spam? You've obviously never been to the Pentagon Christmas party. Where is Takawatsit anyway? Takoshima. It's a volcanic island nation in the Pacific, off the coast of China. We'll have to watch our step. Dos vidanya. See you there. Hey, Goldie. Uh, where are you going? If we split up, they can't get us both. Besides, I can't hold your hand forever, spaceman. Oh. 